This unboxing is sponsored by Geeksburg.com, the online marketplace that specializes exclusively in high quality board game accessories. Hey everybody and welcome to Board Game Heaven. In this episode I'm going to do an unboxing of Fujikoro Deluxe by Game Brewer and as you can see this box is absolutely massive. This is a beast of a box. It is super tall, it's super heavy and I cannot wait to get everything out of this box and to see what's inside and I also got myself a uh, Fujikoro playmat because well you know who doesn't want a playmat so I'll show that as well so uh, let's start unboxing and here it is Fujikoro Deluxe by Game Brewer it is a huge box <laughs> it is super heavy look at that that is amazing so well let's take a look at the box it is uh, very nicely illustrated very heavy and on the back it doesn't have any components but uh, this is the deluxe edition the retail edition will be different it won't have miniatures but standees so I suppose it's not as tall as this box and I don't know what's on the back of that one, but I do assume that for a retail box, they'll print some components on there. So uh, yeah, let's uh, open it up and uh, check what is inside. So right off the bat, look at the insert of the box it even has nice illustrations. And it's a very, very thick cardboard, which I suppose is necessary for a game this heavy and this big. So first of all, we get a rule book in several languages. French, German, Dutch and English. So that's nice. And in the rule book, you'll see uh, this setup for the amount of players as well. How the map works, how gameplay works, the goal of the game, uh, the things you can do during your turn, how you can craft, and all of that is also explained in my review video that I did for the Kickstarter back when it was on Kickstarter. And you can find that review with a rules explanation uh, if you click the I in the corner of this video or the link in the description below this video. So uh, that will explain everything and here is a list of all the components and an overview on the back, which is always handy to have. So what do we have here? We have here in a, a kind of a cheat sheet in the four languages of all of the tiles, the adventure tokens and all the sacred scroll cards, which is handy to have. And then we've got these player boards so um, this is a player board and well you need to punch them so that you can put your um, so you need to punch them and maybe i don't know <laughs> assemble them uh, it seems that way so uh yeah because oh this is a different one yeah there we go so the second board third board And here is number four. They put some sheets in between to protect them, which is nice. Here's another one. And another one. It's quite a few. And these are the assembled boards. Yeah, these are the triple layered boards. So, um, I kind of forgot why we got these again. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we have these, I think. No, this is just, these are slots where you put your cards underneath. So you can put this on the table and slide cards underneath more easily. That's pretty cool. Some already came out. So, yep. Then again, with sheets, <laughs> we have all of these thick, nice, triple layered, player boards of those characters of course 
All right, and I love that this has finger holes to take stuff out more easily. And then there we go. And the Stretch Goal Ninja character, which was an exclusive, I believe. So that's pretty cool as well. So there we go. That's the player boards. And this game has a very, very cool custom insert that is specially made for this game. Not just, a, you know, a plastic insert, but this is made from cardboard. It's printed and it tells you which tokens go where. And that is just super handy. You don't need to buy a third party insert for this game. It already comes with its own. And that's just so clever. I love that. And here are two trays for your resources and, you know, the dice if you want to. And here is another one for these resources and dice. And then here are all the, uh, the components. So we have these wooden uh, discs and the uh, the uh, first player marker, I believe, or the current player marker. Yeah, first player, whatever. So it's a nice dragon. So you have these action tokens. You have these sacred scroll tokens that you can craft. Uh, you have the turn tracker. So all of that. Uh, we got a few extras here, spare parts. Some of the monks as well, because in this one we have all the player tokens and let's see yeah we did have monks somewhere as well i guess i'll find those later these are cool these are actual 3d transparent um, lava tiles and that is just really nice that looks really cool and then we got the dice and they are wooden dice and they have been printed. So, uh, yep, yeah. that looks nice as well. The clear icons on there. So you have those. Uh, here are the monks, uh, the monk discs. There you go, and we have we got sleeves, sleeves for the cards. That's awesome. Thank you, Game Brewer. And here are the cards. So we have all the um, things you can craft. We have the sacred scrolls. So you got those. And then of course we have all these uh, materials, these cubes, iron and wood, that you need to craft your weapons and your gear and your helmet, sandals. And that is a crucial part of the game, the whole crafting. And then we have these uh, player meeples in different colors for each character, which is also pretty cool to uh, put on the score track. So that's really nice. Also a nice touch. And in the bottom here, some more <laughs> spare parts, some extra cubes. There is a loose die in here, a nice blue transparent a uh, green, sorry, <laughs> green transparent dye. So we have those. There are some in here, some green cubes as well. These magical resource cubes. So we got those and some white ones, which are the dragon's teeth. So we got those as well. Those are all the resources. Then, of course, as you can see, we have the dragons. So we have the big white dragon that double-headed dragon the meanest one in the game and that looks really cool it even has already the stats on the bottom that's pretty nice and it has a sculpted base so uh yeah that's nice now we have red dragons there's four of these also really nicely sculpted with a fire here in this uh, really, uh, uh, how do you call it, stylized, stylized flames, flames on his tail and on his elbows. And I, I believe this dragon has a mustache and a beard. <laughs> awesome. 
So there's four of those. I'll just uh, leave them in here. So then that tray, let's see if I can just pull that out like this. No, it's underneath here. So there's more here. And yes, there are. There's the green dragon also, of course, just like this and this one as well have their stats underneath. This is pretty cool. He's uh, doing the handstand. <laughs> His legs are up in the air. Really nice model on a sculpted base. It's amazing. And the smallest dragon, the blue ones. And the plastic is a little bit um, flexible. So he's just basically resting on his uh, hind leg and a front paw. And there is a little bit of um, wobble, just a tiny bit. So um, it is a relatively flexible material, so it doesn't break that easily, which is good in this case. And that looks really nice. Small dragon. There you go. So all of these are already in their own slots. There's slots here for the cards. And in here, what's that? You can put those translucent lava tiles in there. Don't know what these are for. And then we have the, um, the characters. So let's take a look at those one by one. So the red player here. It's really cool. And I love how they uh, made the sculpts true to the art, which is kind of, you know, a, a cubism almost. It's all very with square lines to kind of resemble uh, an 8-bit video game, more or less. And uh, yeah, that's really cool. This is the first character. Here is the black player. And she's holding two knives to sigh, I believe. It's got a backpack. Nice. Then we have this green player character. And that's uh, a, a bit uh, a short guy. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. The backpack. Heavily armored. Nice. Number four here, the pink player. I'm really digging these models. Really cool. The uh, blue player. That's uh, Mitsuhide, which I just see because this, his his <laughs> character board is on top of the pile, so I could read his name. Really nice. And then there's the purple character, the uh, fighter with the hammer, a big helmet, also got a backpack. Nice. And I like that they have colored bases to, uh, you know, uh, make them easily recognizable. And then finally, the special Kickstarter exclusive Ninja on a white base. Also really cool. So yeah, those are the characters. And I believe that's it. I th although, yeah, underneath are of course all the, um, the tiles, the punch boards, which is why the box wasn't completely flush uh, when I opened it. But once you take this out and uh, punch all of those boards then these are of course gone this will be lower and everything will have its own spot boom and the board goes on top and that's pretty cool does anybody know what it says there please leave a comment below because <laughs> so i would like to know 
And then here is the board. So the board is folded in six and has some really lovely artwork. Um, let's, let's just flip it out like this. And it's quite big. Let's see if I can get it in the shot. Almost, <laughs> not quite. Mount Fuji here with the shape of the starting tile in there. And that just looks so cool. And uh, you got some uh, British tiles there and the temples there. Uh, here below is the, uh, the track. It keeps track of when the game ends. You got your scoring track here, your victory points. And that also goes along the top. Spots for all the cards and for the scrolls there. And uh, yeah, there's the victory point tracks up there. I don't know if I can get that closer into the shot like this. So um, the temples where you, the palace, where you end and uh, score your victory points for completing certain things. More of the map. Here's the start of the victory point track up there. <laughs> and to the left there is uh, the dragon's health bar where, that you can use to keep track of the dragon's current health that you are currently fighting. And the back, of course, also has that same board. Um, but I believe one side was meant for the cooperative version of the game. So I'm going to have to see. Yeah, that's how oh, it's actually this side here. So this is the cooperative side, which is almost the same. It just does not have the victory point stats on the palace. And it does have all the slots for the cards and everything is the same. And the, the turn here just goes the other way around. And here are the numbers um, that's used in the cooperative mode. So uh, yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, really nice, lovely colors. And a big, thick, sturdy cardboard map. Okay, and then we've got the punch boards, of course, because the game does also come with the standees for all the dragons. And here are several other tokens that we just saw uh, one of those sheets for. So that's pretty cool. That's the first. And then here are all these resource uh, tokens that you put on the map. Some more dragons. Uh, the turn, uh, the first player marker. Um, so yeah, we have the um, starting tile or the exit tile basically when it's time to leave. Uh, here is uh, the dragon health tracker, I believe, with another here. Yeah, nice. And we have the temples that you put together. You get actual 3D temples on your board. And of course, all the tokens that the deluxe version has these, uh, these discs for, but the retail version has these tokens. Double-sided, more of those. We got these tokens here for the players and for the sacred scrolls, or magical scrolls. Stuff that you can craft, magical weapons. Another temple. There's three. And then, of course, the tiles. All these uh, uh, lava tiles. Stuff that you uh, explore. The three temples, the bases for the temples. And the lava tiles. Once the mountain starts flooding, the lava rises. So, uh, yeah. Plenty of those. And they're really cool. They have a, uh, interlocking uh, edges. So like a puzzle. And the colors are really nice and vibrant. So you get plenty of those in three different uh, levels. With a one, two or three on the back. More of these lava tiles, these health 
markers. So we got those as well. And they punch really easily. <laughs> and we have these bases uh, again for all the dragons. Which I'm not sure if we need because we already have those underneath the models. And I don't know if the standees actually use those um, because they have their health printed on the standee already. So I don't know why this got included. But anyway, those are all the tiles. I'll just punch everything out and then I'll uh, do a uh, reboxing. And here is the playmat, Fujikoro playmat. So uh, yeah, let's take a look at that, shall we? So let me see if I can easily open that up here. There we go. And there you have it. A play mat. Let's see, this is the up side and it is really nice and it's even double sided. That is super cool. So here you go. I'll just put that here for a sec. So yeah, that's uh, really nice. I'll just slide it up a bit so you can see that better. I hope that fits in the frame. So a, a better view of the board. <laughs> So yeah, again, really nice material. It's very sturdy uh, material. It has stitched edges and they are actually um, colored. They're, they're printed with the uh, print. So uh, that, that's quite unique. I haven't seen that yet. Usually it's just a, a single color of black or something. And uh, they actually managed to uh, get the art, the, the colors over the stitched edge which is something I hadn't seen before. It's really nice. So yeah, the, uh, the entire board, very vibrant, clear colors. And this is the cooperative side of the board. And on the other side here is the uh, competitive side of the board. So that looks fantastic, really nice. All right, so I punched all the tokens that I needed to punch and I put the uh, bottom insert back into the bottom all the way down. So uh, these slots over here are indicated to be for the tiles, as you can see on both the bottom and the wall of that tray. So you take those tiles and put them in. Also put the starting tile in with those so there you go. This is the level two and the level three tiles, of course. The bigger slots are made for your temples. So once you've put those together, they look really cool. And you can just put them in. I've tried putting them in with the base and I managed to put in two of them, but a third one somehow doesn't fit. So uh, you just basically toss the base in and just put that on top, that works too. Dragons were already in their appropriate spots, of course, and if you forget, there is a, a drawings on the side, pictures of which dragon goes where, but it's pretty obvious. Same goes with the cards. I've sleeved all the cards, so the magical scrolls, uh, all the weapons and items you can craft, uh, they go in here. And it's a bit tight, but there are finger holes, so you can get them out, so you start with these. The middle ones the last ones are going to be a bit difficult because they're you know on the side where there is no finger roll only in the middle so i kind of wished that they had put uh these one of these on the outside and the cards in the middle so you could grab them from both sides but yeah sure i mean i'll manage so um, the escape tile and the uh the uh, active player or the first player marker go in here and this has the three uh, bridge tiles and it's a bit raised the bottom is a bit raised so it doesn't fall all the way down uh, so you can't grab it anymore so that's good uh, the spot for everything so this goes into the bottom tray then you get one of these 
So this is a tray that holds all these resource uh, tokens. So you got the square ones, one through three, and the uh, hexagonal ones, and these. And these are new to me. I didn't have these in the prototype, so uh, that's pretty cool. And it also says so on the side what goes where. So here are all the colored player uh, discs, the action discs, the monks, and the uh, magical scroll discs, as well as that dragon marker and the round marker. So that all goes in there. That's pretty clear. And you just put that on top here. Then you take the tray with all the uh, player characters, the miniatures. So we have those. There you go. And um, this has these hearts. So the one, two heart markers. It has the sleeping or wake dragon tokens and those damage tokens. And it also says right here on the side, which is very handy. And all the lava tiles go in here which is also indicated on the side and on the bottom. And these are really cool. I love these. And they just fit in here <laughs> if you put them like this. I toss them in uh, normally as well, and that does fit, but this keeps them in place better. So uh, that goes on top, and that will stay there. So then you have two trays for your resources. So I put all the wood and the metal in here. And the uh, ivory dragon teeth and the magical cubes in here, as well as all the dice and these uh, victory point markers for all the players. And that goes on top here and just fits. So that's nice. And I think actually I may want to put this one on the bottom because that aligns with that better. Uh, so I'll put this here so I can push this against that and there we go so that's that then we have the player boards and i did figure out the use of both because i i forgot you have um as is indicated here a symmetrical version and an asymmetrical version so you can take this out and swap it for the symmetrical one and so yeah, that just works like that. So yeah, depending on how you want to play the game with symmetrical or asymmetrical characters, you just take that out and put the appropriate one in. So that's pretty cool. And those just go on top here. Just put them all here. So there we go. Hop, that fits nicely. I still have a little bit of room left, so I'm gonna uh, first put these here oh, that doesn't quite fit in, in here so yeah might as well put the board first but i'll put these here put this here and then finally uh, the board which fits in nicely covers everything up so that's really cool so you take the lid and that just will fit flush really nicely. So that is Fujikoro. And so that was my unboxing of Fujikoro Deluxe by Game Brewer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you hit the bell icon, you will also be notified whenever I upload a new video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Board Game Heaven.